Welcome back guys. Uh, today is we will be discussing about the how to deploy the Vue.js app on our uh, Ubuntu server. So in the previous tutorial, I have already deployed the API for the pin architecture which is here. So we will be deploying an, an application, a Vue.js application for this API. So here, uh, I just made a basic uh, app for that API, which is here. So just a simple select and display, then add and update. So here we selected, and we displayed the employees. Then let's add an employee. I didn't, I didn't add uh, yet uh, auto refresh in the table because we will be I will be making a uh, separate tutorial for that using sockets web sockets so I just refresh the page so here it's successfully added then let's try to edit here is successfully updated so let's try to deploy this on our Ubuntu server, which is here in our app folder. So currently there is nothing here in this folder. So we will be deploying it using Docker. So let's stop the application. So what we need, what are the files we need here? So Basically, this Docker ignore is not uh, not required anymore because we will be uh, the deployment method that we will be making today is what I would like to call is the SSH deploy. So we will build the application here in our local uh, unit and then. We will transfer those files in our server, then build it. So in my, I just made a shell script for that here. And this Docker ignore will be used in our next tutorial, which will be the the standard deployment of Docker in view in deployment of Vue.js. I mean our application. So. Here in our uh, shell script is this function is I already discussed it in the previous tutorial. So just read the value of our NV file which is here. So in our NV file, we'll be connecting in the deployed deployed API in my server already. So this is for the basic auth in our actions. Here in our, in our request in our API, here, which is passed from here in this Nox.js config. And here is for the deployment of our application. So, we, back here in the shell script, is first is we will build the application here in our local machine. Then read the value from our NV file, which is from here, and then just concat concatenate it. And then ECP means a secure copy from our local file, I mean from our local machine to our server. So we will copy the dist folder, which is generated from this command, and then our Docker file default conf for our nginx, and then denv to our. Uh, server and in the directory of the deployment so uh, to make it clear uh, I just show it to you later and how it will run so lastly is I and next is we will SSH to our server and then go to the directory and then run this command to build our application 
and then lastly is just remove the list folder so by the way the prerequisite of this is that you can ssh to your server without asking the password so to make that is you must create an ssh key and then pass it i mean store this the ssh in the server here in the known host there is a command for that so I mean in the authorized case so we just follow the tutorials in the digital ocean you can do this tutorial here is just here so next so and let's try to build our application now i mean deploy and by the way in the in our server this is the the docker compose when it is only the api in my previous tutorial but now is we will be adding our app so i just add a new service like so this is the docker compose now just added this file i mean lines in the services so in this in this directory here and then locate uh, the docker file which is copied from our local machine then the container name and expose in this port so let's try to build so you can you can do this tutorial uh even not using a cloud platform you can try it with your local ubuntu machine or windows machine whatever you like whichever you like so let's just wait for it to finish so it's successfully build the app now it is copying the files in the server then it done this command here build then successful then it delete the disk folder here so let's check in the app folder there's nothing here a while ago so here the which is from this command the docker file default conf and the env file is copied here and then it build the application in our docker compose so let's try to check it if it is successfully this uh, deployed so the app is exposed in port 2003 there is our application now so in uh, my local database we added this to uh, employees but here it is not displaying so let's add So here it's successfully added and deployed so it's working now let's just go back in the docker file and i will explain the docker file and the default conf and the docker file uh, we use this image uh, as engine x and then the version is stable alpine then we just delete the default configuration of engine x then we will copy our our own 
uh, configuration in this directory. So for our default comps, just uh, listen to this. It's just a basic uh, rerouting. So when we uh, when the user visit the slash page, I mean the home page, so it will just redirect in this in the I mean it will display the main file. I mean the main HTML. It's just a basic configuration. And then copy the disk folder which is copied in R here. This folder the which is generated from the build npm run build. Copy this folder in this directory. And then expose port 80. So port 80 is the default port of nginx. And then run this command. So the minus g diamond off is from the official docs in the Docker Hub. Here, just remove the debug command. I just uh, just read the official docs here. So that's it for the Docker file. Welcome. It's the default configuration. This Docker ignore is. We'll be using it in our next uh, deployment. So I guess that's it. So in our so in our next uh, tutorial, we'll be uh, another way to deploy the Vue.js app uh, completely in the container. So we will be building the application inside the container. And we'll be using uh, two images, which is the node and the engine X. So we'll be adding some lines here in the Docker file. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Please subscribe, guys.